just like the vector function in R squared, a vector function in R cubed will generate three dimensional vectors in standard form for each value of t. The endpoint of each vector would trace a curve in space as t changes. A vector function allows us to measure position, velocity, acceleration, forces, and many other quantities. For the purpose of this video series, you should think about vector functions as position vectors that vary with time. These position vectors trace the movement of the curve as time increases. We typically draw arrows on the curve to show the direction that the endpoints of the position vectors move along as t increases. Okay, and that is all you need to know about vector functions for now. We will come back and revisit vector functions in a much later video. Armed with this new knowledge, we can now start figuring out a way to